video is part of a dollar store challenge video hop that is hosted by Shemi Dixon. You can see all the links to this video hop in the description box below. Now I'm going to make two projects. I'm going to make a shadow box out of some gift boxes and a calendar that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make a little mini journal out of some index cards and some binder clips. The challenge was to go to the dollar store and spend not more than $15 to create your project. So I spent a dollar on this. This was a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. Now everything else on here that I needed to complete the project was things that I had in my stash, such as paint, Mod Podge, E6000, needles, a ruler, scissors, a knife, sandpaper, pencil, huh, pliers. The other thing I used for this project was some paper clips that I also got at the dollar store. So I would say I spent maybe six to seven dollars on this project. I'm going to make two projects. I'm going to make a shadow box and I'm going to make a mini art journal. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to go into fast forward motion. I'll break in at different points and talk about where I'm at and what I'm going to do next. And when I'm all finished, I'll show you the completed project and talk about them. I start out by arranging the boxes in a configuration that I like. I'm using both the tops and the bottoms of the boxes. I have some black craft paint. I'm painting the bottoms and the sides of the boxes and I'm also painting an index card front and back. That will be the cover for my mini art journal. Now I'm gluing the boxes together with E6000 glue and clamping them with these little clips. I glued the boxes together with E6000 and I clamped them here with these little binder clips, which by the way I got at the dollar store. My shadow box is all glued together. I used E6000 to glue it together. Now I did use both the top and the bottom of this box. So there are different heights. This is the shorter height. This is the taller height. And I did that on purpose because I like the variation. The next thing that I'm going to do is use this calendar. I'm going to use images from this calendar. I'm going to pick out various images and collage them down. I like this page a lot because it's dark and that will go with the dark on my back. Here I'm tearing out pages out of this calendar that I think that I'm going to use. I really like this teapot and teacup page. I'm measuring out a section of the page to fit this compartment of the shadow box. I'm basically just eyeballing it. This is going to be a distressed shadow box, so perfection is not really a concern for me here. I'm just fitting it in there. Here I mod podge both the bottom and the sides of the shadow box and the back of the paper. Glue it in, and then I mod podge the top of the paper too. And I continue on doing the rest of the shadow box compartments. I really do like how this one calendar page coordinates across to all the little compartments of the shadow box. It really ties it all together. Trimming it off. Not too concerned about the roughness of the edges here. I'm working on the last little compartment in the same way that I did all the others. Trimming it off and then I'll just line the inside of the shadow box and collage it down. There it is. Now I have all my pieces collaged in and as you look at it and you can see how I put them in, I just kind of eyeballed it up. What I'm going to do here 
is I'm going to sand these edges. They're still a little wet and they're tearing here, but that's okay. I want this to have a distressed look. In fact, you're going to see me do a lot more to this. I really like the inside of this. I really like what's happening. I'm in the process of sanding these edges down. I have attached a strong cardboard to the back of the shadow box to strengthen it, and I painted it black. Now I'm getting out some raw umber acrylic paint and I'm making a wash and I'm staining the inside of each one of the little compartments. Now you see I don't want it too dark in there so every now and then you'll see that I grab that little paper towel and wipe away the excess. That way it doesn't get so dark in there that my objects won't show up. Now I got out some black acrylic paint and I'm just painting the edges of the box just to tie it all together. This is dry. I'm really happy with how this is taking shape. The next thing that I want to do is collage on the back of this. Here I'm collaging down a calendar page. I really like this calendar page. I also collaged down some strips on each side just to complete the entire surface of the shadow box on the back. Now I'm collaging down the calendar page. Now as it dries, I'm noticing that there are some vertical wrinkles in this page. And my solution to that was to get some sandpaper and distress it. And I really like that effect. It looks like an aged wood. I really do like this. For my mini art journal, I want it to be an art journal that has writing on one side and a blank on the other side and when I put these index cards which is blank on one side and lined on the other side face up I will get that I'm folding each little index card in half there's five index cards four pages to a card now when you put them all together I'll have a lined page on one side and a blank page on the other side pretty simple huh I painted this index card with black craft paint and then I set it under some books overnight. But that's going to be the cover. So I'm going to fold that in half. And put it in like this. Now you can see I've got edges peeking out here. But that's okay because I am going to take my ruler and my knife and trim that down. The next thing that I want to do is put some holes in here. I've got a needle. Here I'm just binding my little mini journal. I'm doing a basic pamphlet stitch, getting a length of thread, threading the needle, and I'm going to go from the back through the center, inside, through the top, back down to the bottom, and then around and in the inside and come out and tie off a knot have a little tassel on the outside of it. Now I'm just going to trim off the excess white on the side and on the top just to clean it up. And there's my little mini journal. There's my little mini journal. Writing on one side, a blank page on the other. Now, I want to close it. What I decided was to use these binder clips and I like these because they're black and white and they match the journal all you need to do is just clip it shut snap it like this now because I want this to match my little shadow box I'm going to do a collage here of this black key here I'm going to work on the front of my little mini journal. I like this little key out of the calendar. I think it'll go really nice with my shadow box. I'm using Mod Podge to glue it down to the front cover. Just placing it, putting it in place. Dry it off a little and there's the front cover of my mini journal. 
here's my shadow box. It's all finished. In the long run, I am really happy with it. I used some jewelry boxes and a calendar from the Dollar Tree store. I glued the boxes together with E6000 and then I discovered that they were not sturdy enough so on the back I needed to put a piece of cardboard from a watercolor tablet. This is another calendar page. I clodged it down and I distressed it. I really like that distressed look. I really like how that turned out. So what am I going to put in this shadow box? Well, for starters, my little mini journal. This is the little mini journal that I did. The binder clip came from the dollar store. I really like it because the design fits in with the whole theme here. All the black and the white and the the creams and browns. And the little journal has writing on one side and a blank page on the other. I just did a very basic pamphlet stitch on it. The paper, of course, are index cards from the dollar store. And to close it, you just clamp it closed with this little binder clip. So that's going to go in my shadow box. I'm going to put that right here. I have a little butterfly pin that I'm going to put in there. Put it right up there. A little jude beaded necklace. A little purple floral that will go right in here. Now these are my embroidery scissors. I'm going to put them in there for now, but they won't stay in there. I have a really pretty year 2000 pen. It's really pretty. I like it. But year 2000 is 17 years ago. So I'm just going to put it right down in here. What I have here is a vintage photo of a beach beauty. And I'm going to put her right in here. I have an earring that will go in there. And then I have this ribbon. I got this in a box of broken jewelry. And it's a Pi Beta Phi initiation pin and ribbon. And I thought that would go really nice in here with the bathing beauty and this earring. Then I have another picture of a man golfing. And this is a vintage photo, but it's it's a small one. And I'm really debating whether to put it in here, maybe in here, when I take my scissors out, right in there. And then I have these two spoons. And I got these several years ago. I have a set of them. But I like them right in there. You know, you could fill this with anything. On the back, I mounted, a, I can't turn this over, but I mounted a paper clip with some of that Gorilla Tape on the back so that it can hang. But I think for right now, I'm just going to leave it flat just like that as a catch-all for little vintage treasures. So there's my dollar store challenge. Very happy with how it turned out. I will see you on the next page.